All right, let's see here. I did want to do something. Um, I wanted to do something Dragon Ball related, obviously, since uh, you know, it's 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 pretty big in the news right now because Akira Toriyama passed. But um, so Watch Mojo put out. Uh, I guess they were thinking the same thing because four days ago they dropped a uh, top ten iconic. Oh, I misread this title. Iconic Dragon Ball moments. Okay, I thought this was uh like kind of like the best. Um, but iconic is that's a different ballpark. So we'll see. I'll uh, you know me. I'll be real. I'll tell them if it's uh, if the list is trash. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most memorable scenes and moments. This is actually going to be pretty tough, I think, because they've got to go, you know, Dragon Ball Z and then uh, Super. I mean, this is this is up to date, so. Oh, that's tough to pick 10 of the most iconic moments. Let's see. From the Dragon Ball franchise. <laughs> Crazy times, bro. The passing of Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama has been a devastating blow to the anime, manga, Rip. and video game communities. His impact on these mediums cannot be overstated. Oh, come on. I don't need to cry before we do this. Have the worldwide appeal it does to this day. From Dragon Ball to Dragon Quest, Dr. Slump to Chrono Trigger, his works will live on in the hearts of fans for eternity. Thank you, Akira Toriyama. What a G, bro. RIP. The GOAT. Number 10, Goku defeats. Oh, King yeah, I mean, that's got to be on Dragon there. Ball. I'm surprised this is at 10. Until I've defeated I'm so surprised this is at number 10. Arguably that's crazy. The strongest foe that Goku that's fair, though. As a child is King Piccolo. The vile Namekian battles the young fighter as his previous opponent, Tian Shenhan, watches. I have you now! <laughs> However, after Goku proves surprisingly strong, Piccolo resorts to taking Tien hostage. This allows him to break or injure nearly all of Goku's limbs. We say nearly because Goku's right arm remains unharmed. King Piccolo is confident in his victory, but Goku manages Till to he gets a hole through the chest. A Kamehameha to punch straight through his opponent. Yep. It's time for your terror to end. <laughs> God, dude, so crazy watching these, like, old clips. Not only is this a brutal and creative finish, but this moment also marks the birth of Goku's rival and later ally, Piccolo Jr. Number 9, Father-Son Kamehameha. Oh, Dragon true. Z. Speaking of finishing moves, DBZ has its fair share of memorable ones, too. Now you die! Dude, it I'm going to be so honest, if you didn't grow up watching this for like three weeks straight, because you know this beam clash was at least three episodes in the original version, dude, I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear your take. Gohan is engaged in a beam struggle against Cell. The green monstrosity is stronger than ever after his resurrection, and Gohan can only use one arm. However, with some coaching from his late papa Goku, sounds like a callback Gohan if you ask me. Gohan a Kamehameha that overcomes Cell and vaporizes Easy. him for good. Let it out, Gohan. Do it now. I mean, uh, that might be because you know he's. This is when Gohan should have technically took over, but that's fine. That's fine. We're not going to talk about that right now. That's for another day. Anytime multiple characters do a Kamehameha is cool. But the fact that Bro, one of them and Vegeta needs more respect for this. I, I think too many people forget that, like, Vegeta played a big role in this. He played a big role. Like, everybody always says, oh, Vegeta doesn't get his credit. Bro, blame the fans. Because, like, without him right here, this doesn't happen. Is a ghost, and it's done to defeat a big bad as bad as Cell, ensured that fans would never forget it. Mm -hmm. The loss without him. You got that opening right there for a reason. It left us hungry for more. Enough to eat a horse, in fact. Number eight, Goku's goodbye. Bro, Dragon nah, Ball. yo. This is... Uh, there is... I will be honest. Obviously, throughout... And, I, and I'm a diehard Dragon Ball fan. There is not 
one moment from Dragon Ball GT that I would put in like the most iconic Dragon Ball moments, except for this, except for this, dude. Oh, this was such a like this is just it's such a beautiful scene, to be honest. It, it is like iconic. It's a staple. Full GT. Look, GT gets a lot of flack. Mm. When you give it this, it knew how to do an ending. I have more crazy relatives than I'll ever know what to do with. And they're all heroes. In the future, after all the other Dragon Warriors or Z Fighters have passed on, we see Goku's granddaughter Pan at a tournament. She spots her grandfather in the crowd. And while she loses him, we follow Goku as flashbacks from throughout the Dragon Ball franchise play. Grandpa? Let me through, please. After seeing how far we've come, the narrator assures us that should the world need him again, Goku will return. The dub even has <laughs> Goku signing off himself as he flies away on Nimbus, power pole in hand, the uh, franchise has come full circle. Such a moment. Again, we couldn't hope for a more fitting ending than this one. Till we meet again, guys! <laughs> I, I still put that moment, I still put that moment Number as seven. like, canonly the last moment that happened in Dragon Ball. 100%. The first Kamehameha, <laughs> Dragon Ball. In the annals of anime attacks, the Kamehameha Ooh. is among the most iconic. Put this in the top 10. Its debut all the way back in Dragon Ball remains close to fans' hearts. Goku and Kamehameha I get, uh, yeah. Master Roshi this has to make a top 10. A fire on fire mountain. Now watch this. It's the Master's Kamehameha wave. While the old man appears doddering and incapable at first, Roshi soon bulks up and lets loose his famous beat. Bro, he shows you how it's done. Fire and destroying the mountain. Goku is quite impressed and decides to try it out for himself, managing it easily. And the rest is history. Right against the car. Yes, sir. Number six, Trunks. And he never did it again. Slices Frieza, Dragon Ball Z. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm they do good stuff, dude. Goku. The it's the move. Of Trunks into the series is among the most impactful and memorable in the show. Frieza I I actually forgot how like great this moment was until uh, recently. One of my boys is watching it for like the first time, and this is just where he happened to be. And uh, we watched like a, a good like it, it covers it in like five, six episodes. And man, I was just like, dude, this was such a this was such a badass moment. This was iconic for the franchise for sure. Frieza has arrived on Earth, his dad in tow and seemingly stronger with his cyborg modifications. That's crazy. And Trunk shows up a mysterious. That's wild. It's worth it for the short hair, bro. Not only that, but 100%. Super Saiyan as well. Excuse me. Is this your Oh, dude. Trunks was such a cocky fuck throughout this fight too. And I remember at the time, like we were all just sitting here before he even goes Super Saiyan. We're like, this guy's about to get diced up. And then he just came out talking so reckless. Everybody was like, what's he going to do? Let's see it. After tanking a massive attack from Frieza, Trunks tosses an overly dramatic shot at the Space Emperor, only to surprise him from behind with his sword. Hey, Frieza! Huh? Huh? Watching Trunks turn the franchise's biggest <laughs> to this point into mincemeat, he would uh, he would get fodderized by uh, Frieza nowadays, though. Everywhere immediately label him as one of the coolest characters ever. Number he five, was, dude. That shit was Vegeta's so cool. Sacrifice, Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta is a character defined by his pride. After once again turning to evil in his attempt to surpass Goku, Vegeta finally returns mm. to his senses during the battle with Majin Buu. Mm. He bids farewell to his son, Trunks, even knocking him out to prevent him from fighting. Even Piccolo telling Vegeta he'll go to hell isn't enough to deter him. Oh, I, I know. I know what you're talking about. Dude, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm so curious what they're going to put above this. Obviously, like a spirit bomb moment or something like that. But, oh, man, this is uh, this one. This you, one's on tough. On the other hand, have spent your life in pursuit of your own selfish desires. You've caused too much pain. When you die, 
you will not receive the same reward. Oh well, so be it. With one last blast, the Prince of All Saiyans makes one final atonement in death in his attempt to kill Boo. Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. Ah. This may not be the end for Vegeta, but it does mark a major turning point for his character, at last becoming a proper hero. Even the narrator came back to pay respects. And so, one of the Earth's greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light, having made the ultimate sacrifice for the you sake know what, of his You know what's crazy? Lives. You know what's crazy? That narrator is the same voice as Yamcha. His name crazy. was Vegeta, a proud Saiyan prince. Number four, Goku and Vegeta's oh, clash. Oh, of course, Dragon of Z. course. This is. There I mean, come on. Struggles, and then there's this. Vegeta and Goku's first battle is loaded with iconic moments, but this is easily the one everybody thinks of first. Goku goes all out with Kaioken, which puts his body on the line, managing to overwhelm Vegeta. This shouldn't be happening. I don't understand. I am a super elite. Now he sealed his fate. This planet is history. I'll destroy everything. Everything. Do you hear me, Kakarot? Insulted that a lower class foe has injured him. Good Vegeta times, decides man. To blow Good up the times. Planet with his Gallic gun. With no other option, Goku fires a Kamehameha to meet it. Galagon! Ah! Ah! Oh no! If I knew this was going to happen, I would have eaten more pizza and ice cream! Ah! Oh gee. Goku pushes his Kaioken even further to come out on top. In this exchange, at least. The image of their two attacks meeting is burned into Dragon Ball fans' brains, like Vegeta's anger at Goku. The Kaioken! No! Goku! Crazy. That was bold. Number three, Gohan's Super Saiyan 2 transformation, Fuck, Dragon bro. Ball Z. New transformations mm. always make a big splash. Gohan's battle against Cell looks dire. This was so goaded. He's thrown against the cyborg Bugman with little preamble. And when Cell unleashes his brood of Cell Juniors against Gohan's friends, the young fighter can only watch. Please, drop your restraints. Protect the life I loved. You have the strength. My scanners sensed it. Just let it go. An emotional speech from Android 16, hoping to inspire Gohan. Boy, oh boy. Turn, as Cell stomps on the cybernetic mm. man's head, killing 16. Turns out that was enough to push Gohan over the edge. I won't watch this anymore! With a haunting cry and plenty of tears, Gohan reaches Super Saiyan Bro, this was two. such a With great the moment. Of lightning and the drying of tears, we know that the son has surpassed the father, for the moment at least. Number two, Ultra Instinct. <laughs> yep. Dragon Fair. Ball Super. Fair. This is definitely. Power has plenty of high yeah. moments, but the one that literally broke the internet was this one. Seriously, multiple streaming. Remember the other day when we were talking about the real definition of breaking the internet? Remember when we were talking about that? This was really the only. I don't want to hear Gear Five this, Gear Five that. I don't. I don't. I don't even want to hear Attack on Titan this, Attack on Titan that. And I, you know me, boys, big AOT fan. This broke the internet. I remember, like, I remember where I was and what I was doing when this episode came out, and I was trying to like get it to pop up. This is so crazy. Sights went down. Goku's done it, hasn't he? He's finally achieved it. Yes. During Goku's fight with Jiren. Yes, but like, no, <laughs> right? Our hero is on the cusp of mastering Ultra Instinct, a technique that allows him to dodge attacks effortlessly. 
It's the whole attacking back part that Goku struggles with. But as Jiren aims to ring Goku out, the Saiyan fighter's power continues to rise, and he eventually starts hitting back with his aura and hair taking on a divinely shimmering light. This is the true power, complete in all its majesty. As far as modern Dragon Ball goes, it doesn't get much more hype than this. Still That's get chills, we bro. Have to go back. This is Autonomous Ultra Instinct. What do we think number one is, boys? What do we think? If I had to take a guess, I'll probably say it's the uh, like the final spirit bomb for the end of Z. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like, uh, if there's anything else. They already covered the first arc, right? Like you, the Vegeta. Ba Wait, never mind. Never mind, guys. We all know what's coming. We we all know what's coming. Who am I kidding? And I'm even the one that stands by what they're about to put at number one is the most iconic moment. Come on. Before we continue, be Let's sure see to it. subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about. We know what it is. Videos. You know it. You have the option. To we all know what it is. Videos, all, all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the uh, Super Saiyan, ooh. Dragon Ball Z. When it comes there to will anime never transformations, be. Super Saiyan mm. is arguably the most iconic of all, and the debut rocked the Dragon Ball fandom and is still making waves decades later. Goku and company believe they finally defeated Frieza. If you think that your little friends can escape me, you're sadly mistaken. Unfortunately, they're wrong. The evil tyrant reappears and kills Krillin. Frieza, stop this! Help me! The death of his best friend sends Goku into a rage so great that his power skyrockets. Dude, weather... and what makes this scene so good is I don't think... Hmm... I don't know. Oh, that's actually crazy. Like, I'm such a person who loves Dragon Ball. Like, I don't know if Goku knew that the Dragon Balls on Namek could bring somebody back, like, infinite times. Like, I think back in the day, what made this moment so special, and I'm, like, 99% sure, it's like, we all thought, like, Krillin was done. Like, that that was, like, written off, over, and that's what made this so special. Obviously, spoiler alert. He's still alive, but yeah, I mean, this was just such a, this is the best, the best, one of the best moments in all of anime period, let alone definitely most iconic of the franchise. Changes and his hair turns golden. <laughs> Come on, give me the stare. Freezer you have to. Dealing with the average Saiyan warrior anymore, and fans weren't dealing with the there it is. Dragon Ball either. This is peak Dragon Ball. What's your fondest Dragon Ball or Akira Toriyama memory? I'm actually really surprised they didn't have uh, the KO Ken on Nappa on the list. Like seeing this scene here, to be Let honest. Let us know in those comments below. It's over 9,000. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Come on. Uh, 9,000? There's no way that could be right! If you enjoyed this video, check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Nice, dude. That's a good one. Let's see. Uh, I wonder what people commented here. I wonder what people commented. Like, what did everybody think was the best? Uh, he was the Stanley of manga and anime. Kira Toriyama always live on. Exactly. Uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, there's not too many. Uh, It's not, there's not, there's not going to be like too many actual like, uh, things in, in the YouTube comments on, cause you know, it's all of, uh, you know, RIP Toriyama, which that's fair. It's a good video though. I pretty much agree with like the placement of most of these. Um, I would probably have to switch a couple things. I would definitely probably put Vegeta's, you know, this over the beam struggle from season one but i don't know it is iconic instead of you know uh like impactful so to say i guess so yeah i mean that's true 
That's a good one. 